Hey, R.B. Willett here. I have been so honored to be part of the revival meeting of Faith Baptist Church this week. The crowds have been excellent, the music's wonderful, the spirit is great, and most of all, God is at work. Can I encourage you to come for the last night of the meeting? Please be sure to be here. Welcome to Your Daily Dose, a devotion ministry of the Faith Baptist Church of Franklin and Middletown, Ohio. Thanks for joining us each weekday as we share God's Word with you. It's your daily prescription for all that ails you. And now, your daily dose. Well, good morning, everyone. Matthew Hinkle here, pastor of Faith Baptist Church here in uh, right at the crossroads of Franklin and Middletown, Ohio. And it's a joy to be with you to, for today's daily dose. Uh, I always enjoy getting to do these, and I always appreciate those that would take a little bit of time out of their day uh, to watch these. And um, I hope what we have to say today will be a blessing. Well, this one is, uh, is being recorded during our revival, our 2020 fall revival. And what a week we've had so far. Uh, just outside the office window here, we have a large tent set up that we've been meeting in since Sunday. And uh, the meeting got started on Sunday morning. And uh, we had Jim and Melissa Brady that came and sang for us on Sunday. And then all week from uh, uh, Sunday to Wednesday, we have Dr. R.B. Olette here to preach for us. And so he's preached three times up to this point, uh, twice on Sunday and then again last night. And what a blessing and what an encouragement he has been. If, uh, if, if you've not been to these just yet, uh, come on out. Be here for the last night, and uh, I know it'll be a blessing to you. Well, I want to stick with our theme of revival for today's uh, Daily Dose, and I'm coming to you from the book of Habakkuk, Habakkuk chapter 3, verse number 1. A prayer of Habakkuk, the prophet upon Shiganoth. O Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years make known, in wrath, remember mercy. Habakkuk was one of the prophets. The book of Habakkuk is one of the minor prophets. Not minor because it's less important, but it's just a short little book of the Old Testament. And God used the prophets during a time of, uh, of spiritual decline in the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel had been for some time in spiritual decline. They had been walking away from the Lord. And because of that, as is always the case, even when we sin, God never stops loving us. He never stops uh, caring for us. And He never stops extending His arms out to us. But after some period of time of walking away from God, uh, it cannot be avoided. The people who walk from, away from God will eventually suffer the consequences for that. And so for many, many generations now, the children of Israel have been walking away from the Lord and uh, going their own ways. And because of that, they were starting to experience um, a variety of, uh, of consequences for that. The northern ten tribes of Israel were carried away into Assyrian captivity. And the southern two tribes of Judah, the kingdom of Judah, was carried away into Babylonian captivity under Nebuchadnezzar for 70 years. And uh, so the nation was facing all that. And God sent the prophets to do a number of things. Number one, to explain to the children of Israel why they were facing the things they were facing. Uh, they were not in these circumstances because God had abandoned them or stopped loving them or uh, somehow they stopped being his people. That's not what was going on. Uh, the prophets were, were sent to explain to them that uh, this was the result of their sin. And, um, and so that's why they were going through the things they were going through. Also, the prophets were, were meant to, their ministries were intended to uh, reinforce uh, encouragement to the people. Uh, though they were being chastised, though they were being corrected, uh, God still loved them, and they still had a future, even though they were going through difficulties brought on by the spiritual decline of their nation. And so the prophets uh, explained, the prophets uh, encouraged, the prophets did warn. Uh, there was prophet, the, 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 the prophets that are recorded in the scriptures 
appeared at different times in the history of Israel. And so um, some of them were pre-exile, some of them were during the exile, and some of them were post-exile. Uh, some of the ones pre-exile actually warned the children of Israel of the impending judgment and called them to repent uh, and, and possibly avoid the things that were in their future if they continued on the path away from God. And then one other thing that the prophets were, were meant for, or one of the ministries that they had, was to teach the children of Israel how to get back to God, repent, turn back to the Lord, and, uh, and God would graciously receive them. In Habakkuk uh, 3.2, I love how it says, In wrath, remember mercy. In wrath, remember mercy. But I want to just point out to you, I just want to mention to you today, in verse 2, where it says, O Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the years of decline, in the years of turmoil, in the years of, um, of darkness, Habakkuk was praying and Habakkuk was asking God to send a revival amongst his people. And so here at Faith Baptist Church this week, we have designated this week as a week of, uh, of fall revival meetings. We can't produce or manufacture revival. No one has that capability. No one has that ability uh, for revival to come, it has to come from God and His Spirit. But what we're doing this week is asking God, we're, open, we're, we're opening ourselves up to the Lord, allowing ourselves to be open, and asking God to do something real and something special in our church this week. Um, it's been said that revival can begin with just one person. And uh, we believe that revival can begin with just one person and just one church. And we're asking God to do something like that this year in our fall revival. There's a, a challenging and great verse in Psalm, uh, I believe it's in Psalm 139. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Psalm 139, verse 23. And this would be my prayer and my hope for myself this week and my hope and prayer for you this week. Uh, where the Bible says, search me, Psalm 139, 23. Search me, O God and know my heart, try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. I simply ask you this week to be open to God, open to His Spirit, open to His Word, and, and make the decisions and follow the leadership and prompting of the Lord in your life. Uh, not just this week, but always, but if it's not currently going on in your life, may it start this week. Let's pray. Thank you for being with us today. Lord, we love you today. We thank you for the fact that you are a revival God. We've heard it said this week in our revival that what revival is is a resumption of normal Christianity. And normal Christianity is biblical New Testament Christianity. And Lord, so I pray that you would awaken us this week. Uh, we, we're so apt to falling into ruts and routines and just going through the motions of our daily life. And I pray and I ask that you would help each of us to really uh, look within us and we pray for your assistance and your enablement as we look inside of each of our own hearts. And may you point out to us areas that need attention, areas that need to be addressed, areas in our lives that need to change things in our lives that perhaps are limiting you in our life and hindering your best. And so, Lord, I pray that you would uh, do a great work in our lives and in our hearts this week. May it begin with me. Bless each person that is hearing my voice this morning, and I pray that you would encourage them and help them, too, to see a great revival in their lives uh, in these years. And we'll thank you for it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, it was good to be with you today. We'll see you next time. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye. This has been your Daily Dose, a ministry of Faith Baptist Church. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today and click the bell next to the button to sign up for email notifications each time we live stream or release a new video. To learn more about faith, please visit our website 
fitinatfaith.com for more information about our church. Have a great day in the Lord.